and welcome to The Apologist's Angle. For today, October 08, 2024, an AI-generated Christian cultural apologetic perspective on today's news. This podcast is based directly on the writings of the Christian cultural apologists discussed, but like all AI, it can make mistakes. In the news to story, a staff member at a Dutch museum accidentally threw away an artwork that resembled two empty beer cans, thinking they were trash. The piece, All the Good Times We Spent Together by Alexandre Lavette, was actually hand-painted with acrylics and required significant time and effort to create. The curator recovered the work from a bin bag just before it was thrown out. The museum has since placed the artwork in a more traditional display setting, but plans to relocate it soon as part of its mission to showcase art in unexpected places. Commentary inspired by the writings of G.K. Chesterton. In the vast expanse of human experience, a profound chasm exists between appearance and reality. A recent news story about a Dutch museum staff member who callously discarded an artwork, mistaking it for trash, serves as a poignant reminder of our inherent tendency to misperceive the world around us. As G.K. Chesterton astutely observed, the world will never be in its right senses until it sees that the only object is to see things as they are. This incisive remark highlights the imperative of cultivating an unencumbered and discerning gaze one that can pierce through the veil of appearances and behold reality in all its complexity. In this instance, the staff members' narrow focus led them to overlook the artwork's inherent value, reducing it to a mere shadow of trash. The Father Brown stories by Chesterton offer a fascinating counterpoint to this episode. The eponymous detective's unique faculty for observation allows him to decipher enigmas that others have overlooked. His extraordinary perception is not merely a product of his intellect, but also a testament to his willingness to question the obvious and seek out the truth, no matter how obscure it may seem. In The Man Who Was Thursday, A Nightmare, Chesterton wrote that, A man who has lost his way should not ask for directions from a crowd of people who have also lost their way. This aphorism contains a sage warning about the dangers of relying on collective wisdom, particularly when it is predicated upon shared misconceptions. The museum staff member's error serves as a stark illustration that even within institutions dedicated to the preservation and celebration of art, there exists a propensity for communal misperception. The artwork in question, All the Good Times We Spent Together, presents an intriguing paradox. On one hand, it is an artifact that deliberately subverts our expectations, masquerading as something mundane when in reality it is a labor-intensive and meticulously crafted piece of art. On the other hand, its value lies not only in its aesthetic appeal, but also in its ability to challenge our perceptions and blur the boundaries between high art and everyday life. In Orthodoxy, Chesterton argued that we do not want a religion that is right where we are right. We want a religion that is right where we are wrong. This statement contains a profound insight into the human condition, highlighting our deep-seated desire for a framework that can provide meaning and direction in times of uncertainty. Similarly, art has the capacity to transcend its material boundaries and offer us a glimpse into the transcendent. The news story serves as a salutary reminder that even within the rarefied realm of high culture, we are susceptible to mistakes of perception. It also underscores the importance of maintaining an open-minded and inquiring attitude, one that is willing to challenge our assumptions and question the status quo. As Chesterton observed in Chesterton Day by Day, it's the first effect of not believing in God that you lose your common sense. While this statement may seem unrelated to the news story at hand, it contains a profound truth about the human condition. Our capacity for discernment and our ability to perceive reality are intimately tied to our willingness to engage with the world around us in all its complexity. In conclusion, the story of the discarded artwork serves as a powerful allegory for the fragility of perception and the imperative of cultivating an unencumbered gaze. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, it is essential that we remain vigilant and receptive ever willing to challenge our assumptions and question the status quo. Only through this process can we hope to behold reality in all its beauty and complexity. Thank you for listening to today's episode of The Apologist's Angle.
Be sure to come back tomorrow for a new take on the day's news from the perspective of Christian cultural apologetics.